everybody, I'm Miss Biz, and today I'm going to be showing everybody how it is that you make citric ambrosia. Now, first of all, we should probably talk about what it even is. So, I have a drink here in my inventory. There it is. You gain 50% experience point bonus from all sources for 30 minutes. Now, this is really important that it's a drink. It is not a potion, it's a drink. One thing to note, that you can still have your regular food or drink on top of having this going. As well, because it is considered a drink, any extra passives you have under your provisioning, such as creating three extra servings whenever crafting a drink, or adding uh, 20 minutes to the duration of any drink consumed also apply to this. So it actually works out pretty nicely that you have almost a full hour of your XP bonus as well. You can use your regular food or drink. And what I'm going to be showing is actually how you get the recipe, how you put the recipe together and learn it. And that way, this will come in handy so that when those rare ingredients you realize they're hard to find, don't worry, you only need one set and you'll make four potions. So, first of all, how do I get the recipe? Well, it actually comes in seven different fragments. They're considered a trophy. See, you need all seven fragments in order to make the recipe. How do you get the fragments? You do provisioning writs. So, you go up to a writ board, you check out what it is that you need to make. Oh, there we go. And I'm pretty sure I have both of those in my inventory. Ooh, no, I do not. I need the sipping inga tonic. You'll notice that I picked up my crafting writ in Craiglord. This is because my character has max crafting passives in provisioning as well as she's a veteran level character. The higher the level of provisioning writ, the higher the chance it is that you get fragments. So when you're doing a writ, it does need to be player crafted food and drink. Something they don't exactly tell you though is you don't have to make it. So if you don't know a recipe yet, you can actually go buy player crafted items from guild stores and turn them in for writs. If you do know the recipes, you can just make some. Now you have to go turn in your writ, and that's where you have a chance to find a fragment. Here you go. So I have all the items I need for my provisioning writ. So I'm going to hand it in, place the goods within the crate, and take my provisioning pack. When you open this provisioner's pack, there's a small chance that you can find one of the experienced drink fragments inside of it. You'll see that we weren't that lucky today, but I have been lucky before, so I actually do have all seven fragments. Once you have all seven fragments, which can also be purchased from guild stores if you have the add-on that allows you to search for trophies. As well, you can trade with other players if you get duplicates or just buy straight up from another player. Those are all possible ways to get these fragments. Now, what do you do to actually get the whole recipe? Well, let me show you. You actually open up your quick slots and the recipe fragments will be able to go on to a quick slot. So, just pick any recipe fragment, put it on your quick slot. Now I'm going to exit out, I'm going to go to my quick slot wheel and select that fragment. Now, I'm just going to hit my quick slot key. Ta-da! Now if we go into my inventory, you will see that I have a new recipe. I just took all those seven fragments, which as you can see are now gone, and created the actual recipe. Now, this recipe you can also sell or trade with other players, but kind of the whole point of finding it is so that you can make it yourself. So let's learn it. I learned it. So I'm going to head to a cooking fire and show you actually how you make it. 
it's all the way down in delicates. Now, what you need to craft this recipe is the two rare purple ingredients. There's one for food, one for drink. You can only get these via the hirelings and by doing those provisioning writs. The next new ingredient you need is perfect row. Currently, this is the only recipe that perfect row is used for, and you actually get perfect row from fishing. When you skin a white fish, you have a small chance of obtaining perfect row. So, we're going to craft our very first citric ambrosia drinks. There we go. And as you can see, because I have all my passives maxed out, I actually crafted four, even though I only used one of each item in my inventory. So there you go. That's how you craft those, and I hope you have a good time doing provisioning writs, finding those fragments, and then watching that cool animation as you finally get to create the recipe. Thanks for joining me.